Okay, so I just went back to Sedona. So there was just a really nice stretch of weather and today I rode Highline, which was kind of on the bucket list and I feel like I'm a little better at riding now. So I started at the Yavapai Vista parking lot and I made a big loop out of it. So I started on Coconino, jumped onto Slim Shady and then got onto Highline. The first part of Highline was kind of technical. I had to walk my bike in a few spots just to get up to where it kind of planes out. But after that, it's kind of just cliffy. It's not really that technical for 50% of the whole ride. It was my first time on it, so you know how that goes. I didn't really know what was around the corner. Um, there was a lot of hikers a few other bikers. I really loved it. The views the whole time were amazing. It was a beautiful day. It was 75 degrees and sunny. So at the end of Highline, it gets very technical. Um, I walked a bunch. There was one thing I did go down, kind of like a slick rock shoot. It was pretty cool, but you're really not walking your bike that much. So the rest of the trail, it's definitely worth it. Advanced, intermediate, definitely do it. Don't hesitate on Highline. Just, you have to walk a little bit at the end. So at the end, I jumped on a Baldwin and I took the long way around Cathedral Vortex, which was awesome. So Baldwin connects to Templeton Trail and there is one section where you're literally hiking your bike up like a super steep hiking switchback. That's kind of the worst part of the entire loop. Um, but it's really not that bad. Once you get up and you plane out again on Cathedral, it's just a nice way back to the parking lot. It was just under eight miles. It was like a thousand feet of elevation. Definitely a sweet little loop. And it was way less hard and technical than I thought it was gonna be, reading all the reviews and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, back in Sedona for the day. Coconino. I'm going to ride Highline Trail. So, we'll see how that goes. Coconino to Slim Shady. Then I'm gonna get on Highline. And that will take me to Baldwin, which is like, you go around Cathedral Rock. Then Templeton, back to the parking lot. So. I'm excited. The conditions here are literally perfect. It snowed recently here and now it's like gonna be 75 degrees today. And I know like there's gonna be a lot of spots where I'm gonna have on Highline, but I think I can do it. So it's kind of just like a, an adventure. Uh, but I've hiked the Baldwin Trail, which it goes around Cathedral. And I know that's pretty technical, even though that's a black. And Highline is like a double black. So I don't know, we're gonna find out. <laughs> So now I'm on some shady north. Highline, here we go. Had like zero warm up. <laughs> oh well.
because I couldn't tell where bikes go. I didn't want to step right yeah. <laughs> Where do the bikes go here is a good question. Where do the bikes go? See this? Powdery slick. Once you get up that first little switchback rocky section, this seems to be pretty nice so far. Beautiful day. Oh my god. Got some hikers. Handlebar clipper. <laughs> I don't know about this. Let's see. Oh yeah, could have been done, but it would have went that way. I don't want to get bounced off the trail and die. Trees. Trees and stuff. <laughs> this part here is sketchy. So slippery. Those rocks with the little powder coat are insane. It's like ice. Look at the the margin of error here. This and this tire. That's insane. There's a trail.
right. <laughs> See this part? Pretty cool. I just need to get more cojones. Tree. Damn it. Oh my god, it's so cold right here. This is uh, pretty tight. Switch back. Okay, here's Cathedral. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, and the sun is hot. <laughs> now it's ice cold. It's amazing. kind of cool to think that I'm going to be pedaling all the way around Cathedral during this ride. This is a sweet little tour. Canyontours.com <laughs> My PTSD from that tree crash still. <sighs> wow, incredible view from here. 
Oh my god. Cool. This is this big switchback part. So. This part. It's cool you can see the trail down there. Miss this red dirt. Look how beautiful this trail is. I can't even handle it. Oh my god. Highline transect. Interesting. This part is very cleaned up for now. I can feel the vortex. This is kind of chunky, slick rock. It feels good though. I also wanted to say I got some new tires and I got this one on the front. Asa guy <laughs> on the front, it's pretty good. Um, on the back I've got Minion DHR2. It's a game changer. Taste the Moab here. Yes. What is this? Okay, Steve. <laughs> Where is 
is the trail. This is amazing. Look at <laughs> I'm gonna stop here. This is incredible. Fatal. This is a canyon. I'll tell you what, right now. I had no idea that this much of the trail was going to be like this. Yes. It. I don't know about crushing it, but did it. <laughs> You just kind of like come off of that and then the tree is in the way damn it this is the shoot everyone talks about online let's put some eyes on it this last part you can't see what's below it this powder is like flower on glass I'll tell you that right now it's crazy See, um, I don't know. The bottom's a little hairy for me. A little steep with the uh, with the rock here, the cliff. So maybe next time, let's see what's around the corner. A two foot drop onto uneven rocks. So. How's it going? Oh, good. <laughs> good. This part is uh, extremely steep. Insane. That was my technical part of the whole thing. I did the last piece. High line. This way. Here we go. There's some sketchy unknown right below us. Terrific. Cool. 
cool. So I did that. That was pretty fun. Heart rack. Nice. Well, I would say that was definitely fun and doable. And if you're a ride like me, like that's totally walkable. And it's fun because I did try some things. Get braver and braver. Baldwin Templeton back and here is beautiful cathedral the back of it Hi. Hi. <laughs> Didn't want to hit you guys. I'm going to assume this is the way. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you again. Okay, so Templeton heading this way. This might be the start of it actually. This is the trail I've hiked a lot. Oak Creek's right over here. Gorgeous. Oh, look at the river. Look at the river. Sweet Jesus. Here we go.
good exercise, I'll tell you that. I'll do that right now. Do, do, do all the way up to the top of this mountain. Oh, look at me riding for a second. It's so nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this too much. This is a better view. That's the top part of the climb. <clears throat> Good place to stop and walk again. <laughs> if you weren't tired before, you're tired now. That's okay though, it's all uphill on the way back. <laughs> it's, it's funny because I've hiked this so many times, I've always wondered what it's like to bike it. I'm living my dream. That's cathedral, where everyone hikes up to the camp. Temple 10, all the way back. I feel the vortex. Crazy. Hi. Hi. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I will try. I will try. Where's the trail? Oh. Hi. <laughs> A lot of hikers to look out for around these corners. Can't see nothing. Cannot see nothing coming. Hey there. Hi, there up. This 
is pretty cool. The top of Templeton. I've only done the little bottom part. These new tires give me so much stability and traction. It's amazing. Overall, that loop was awesome and definitely doable for me. And like the walk up Templeton was actually my biggest concern because I've done that before without a bike. It wasn't that bad, even with like little bike shoes. Even with bike shoes. Hermit. Just when your legs couldn't be any more tired. 